Hey everybody out there, it's Alabama Deep and coming back at you. So today we are looking at a Rolex Super Clone. This is a Submariner and the owner of this watch has been buying pieces bit by bit of the real 3235 that he wants me to incorporate into his watch movement that he has bought. Now this is roughly a six, seven, eight hundred dollar clone. Uh, and I'm trying to get some better camera angles for y'all going around. So we're trying to do this with my hands <laughs> the best I can. Uh, probably not the actual best, but nonetheless, it's something just a little bit different for everybody to see. I'm going to try a couple different angles on this episode, but let's try to get in a little bit closer on this. This is going to be a very interesting build. I uh, hope everybody will join me on this as we work trying to do this now as a super clone you should be completely aware that they have tried to copy uh, everything as identical as they possibly can we're going for a top side view and we're going to try our best to focus this in uh, so everybody can see exactly what is going on with this um, Camera does not seem to be wanting to work 100% with everything that I want to do. Let me come up just a little bit. Now, let me try zooming in. Uh, as a super clone, they have tried to make everything perfect on this particular watch. As you can look, things look really, really good considering. Look at that date pop. Even though you don't think it does when it's in real person, it, it actually does. Um, we, we can even come in, let's look at the hands. The hands are polished a lot more than what they would be uh, on a AAA. We can look at the, bra uh, the stainless steel. Stainless steel looks pretty good on this for the brushing. Everything about this watch does seem to be legitimate, even though it is not. They are getting very good at copying these movements. So let's come over and let's take a look at some of these parts that we're going to be putting on today. Uh, we do have bits and pieces here. As we can see, these parts are all legitimate. Now we can zoom in on these and you can look at the parts and you can tell that they are all legitimate. Look how perfect they do look. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing what... Rolex can actually do and why I'm such a fan of them even upside down we can take a look at this and we can see how nice these pieces do look even though that's the underside uh, of the bridge work that we have for one of them let's flip it on over we will come in and have a look at that absolutely perfect 32 35 Everything on these parts looks very good. Um, I think he did very well on buying these. And I'm going to move these out of the way. Let's take a look at some of the bridges that we have. Let me flip it on over. We can come in and we can look at even the isolating weight on this. It is almost perfect even for used parts. They look very nice comparing over if we can go to... Any other clone movement that I have, you're going to notice that they look extremely similar, if not identical. Uh, absolutely amazing with what they can do. We're looking at the Submariner. We can take a closer look in on, on this. Let's take a look at the lettering. Looks really good there. I don't see any bleeding. I don't see any spots or transfer of ink anywhere where it shouldn't be. They did really good on that. Um, absolutely just blown away by how well that looks. Um, as we can come in here and compare a real date wheel, let's come in and let's see if we can get uh, something on this. That would be a two. Let me go ahead and let me turn this around. We can come in on this number two. See, that looks pretty good as well. Now let's go back and let's compare it to the original 
once again, it's just a little blurry. I apologize, but there we go. That looks really nice. Uh, it is amazing, though, when it comes to the genuine parts on even a date wheel for a Rolex. Uh, they got very, very close with the fonts. I can say that. And even though my camera's not behaving all the way, as we do get in, we can take a look. That is very good. It's not as thick as the other, but it does look very good. And I'm sorry for the blurriness on some of this. My camera's still not wanting to work with me 100%. But they did very good on this clone. And we are going to be adding all of these pieces to this watch in this episode of course we're breaking this down into a couple i can't wait to get started on this uh once again i just wanted to come in and just show the perfection that they do have for these pieces as we come in and we look absolutely stunning and gorgeous uh just look at the, the parts for this absolutely just gorgeous I cannot wait to get started on this. And once again, coming back over to the isolating weight, there are two of these. We don't know which one we're going to be using yet. Um, I know I've been given one, and uh, I'm going to be using it on another build of mine. Uh, pay not attention to the extra jewel there. That is actually one of my jewels uh, that somehow escaped from its container and made its way to this one over the transfer of parts to keep them protected until we are ready to do this build and we most certainly are at this point ready to do it uh coming back i was going to try to go ahead and see if i could show you more here we go so we do have this let's come in let's take a look at this uh what is with my camera today it is something else but yes, even for used parts, this is very nice. Uh, these parts are interchangeable. We will be changing them out. I cannot wait to start doing that. That will be going on in the segments to come. They are all gathered and it is coming our way tonight. Uh, as this is probably was recorded later or earlier this afternoon. Uh, I'll go ahead and say I'm probably right now busy working away putting this movement back together. Let's go ahead, let's come in and let's show you some more parts that we have. Genuine parts, absolutely just gorgeous. Let's see if I can't get this turned around. There we go, look how beautiful those are. Absolutely just gorgeous. This is part of the automatic work, so I already know what that is without even having to second guess it. That will be going on into the build. And most importantly, uh, all these parts are interchangeable. Now, I will point out as we go along in this build, there are some parts that will not mix uh, with uh, aftermarket and genuine uh, in the VSF. For example, on the VSF, let me go ahead and just let you know that if you have a fork, uh, balance fork, and you're going to be trying to put on an authentic uh, escape wheel, those two will not work together. You will have to use both original parts in that or they won't work in harmony together. Uh, it, it just won't function right because they are made just a little bit different. Uh, so be aware of that, that when you're working even on a 3135, 3235, uh, the, the fork and the uh, escape wheel, they have to both be original in order to work in harmony together. Uh, it just doesn't work any other way. Uh, I have been told that already, and I've already been warned that if I do anything with the escapement, it has to be all original parts or it's not going to go. So just be aware of that if you're wanting to do something similar that we're about to do in this video segments coming up, that you have to use all original parts in the escapement or it's a no-go, it just won't function. If you do do this and find a way to make it work using aftermarket and genuine for the escapement, please let me know in comments below how you did that because everyone I have talked to that has done this or attempted to do this, uh, they've had to have both authentic parts in order for it to work. Uh, so any 
added information and education would be most important for me uh, and for everyone else in comments below so we can go ahead and we can help other people in their watch journey be able to complete the same thing that we are going to be doing in this segment. Also to let you know, we're going to try different camera angles during this episode. We're going to be trying to do side views, top views, horizontal views, different things for this video to make it more interesting for viewers at home. So my goodness, let's just take a look at this beautiful, beautiful clone. I don't care what anyone says. These clones are getting scary close. They're really, really nice. And uh, my goodness, it's just absolutely amazing with what we have going on. Absolutely amazing with what they are able to accomplish now compared to what was going on 20 years ago. Now coming into the uh, images that you see now, uh, as I have done a slight edit trick, I wanted to point this out to the viewers at home. I know it's going to be a little hard to do when it, co when it comes to the Submariner here. One of the things the owner was wanting me to do, and I want to show you this, is that the owner was wanting me to replace the crystal on the Submariner. Now, I'm very hesitant to do that, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, one, when it comes to the crystal on the Submariner, I do not see any reason at all to replace this crystal. I really don't. Uh, we can take a look at my date just that we have over here. You see how the two pops? Well, the number two on the Submariner, it would pop as well. It's very close to the correct magnification of a real sub. I see absolutely no reason to replace this crystal. Um, in all honesty, uh, it is something that does not need to be done. This looks pretty realistic the way it is. I know everyone is always going to say, oh, the two has to jump out. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you that when it comes to replicas and clones, or actually we're going to go ahead and we're just going to say replicas because replicas is one thing, clone is another. When you have a replica, they exaggerate the size of the date. On their uh, date wheel, it will be bigger print, not magnification itself, and a different font that makes it appear it's being magnified times three. And they have made it uh, larger. Uh, so it is not correct at all when it comes to a triple A replica. Those, those magnifications are way off, uh, and the print is completely wrong on this. If we can look at my date just we have here, yes, most of it at this point now is original, including the crystal. It is sapphire, but it is a Rolex crystal compared to the clone crystal here. Um, I can't tell much of a difference, if any at all. Uh, so I see absolutely no reason to replace that crystal. I'm going to leave it exactly as it is, unless the owner much later down the road wants me to replace it. Uh, then I suppose I will, but I'm not going to do that with him right now because the crystal that's on it seems to be just fine. And if it's not broke, you don't want to try to fix it because when it comes to these clones, I am not sure how easy it would be getting past the bezel and not damaging anything to, to, to remove that crystal to put a new one in. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's easy to do, but nonetheless, I'm not going to um, because I see no reason to. This looks very, very, very nice the way it is. Uh, we're going to leave it alone. I know one other thing that the uh, owner was wanting me to do, he was wanting me to possibly do some more rounding on the links. There's absolutely no reason to do that. These feel absolutely fine. They feel Rolexy. It's very comfortable on the wrist. They have the brushing down almost to perfection. So we are also not going to mess with the brushing on this, but we are going to go ahead and we're going to replace the components on the inside as requested uh, as to what it will allow us to do. And we're going to start that. Uh, I'm going to do this by having a 3235 spare movement sitting off to the side because I want everyone to keep in mind that, yes, I, I can take a 3135 apart very easily. I can do it blindfolded even. But when it comes to the 3235, I'm a little bit hesitant. It's a new movement to me. It is new to Rolex. They just came out with it. 
Um, I am not as invested in knowledge uh, and uh, the skills necessarily the same as it is on 31, 35, 32, 35. It is a little bit different. Uh, so uh, I'm not fully faithful in, in myself with the knowledge to know what every little part goes to. So we're going to have a spare 32, 35 off to the side. It's going to be my roadmap. And I'm going to be using it, taking it apart first before I actually do start working on the 32, 35 that's in this clone. Uh, that's just going to be out of respect to the owner. I want to know what's coming before it's actually there. And I can do that on a 32, 35 clone that I have here. And uh, to be known that, yes, one is different than the other per se, but I want to make it clear that they would be very similarly close. So I can start with a 3235 that's sitting off to the right and one not in the actual watch. As I proceed with this, uh, yes, it'd be just like any other watch movement, I know, but I like to be extra careful when it comes to someone else's property and someone else's passion. If someone was to mess up my watch, oh man, I would be very angry and upset, uh, if not disappointed. So we don't want to put anyone through that. I will be uh, moving slowly as if the watch itself is made out of crystal. I want to be very careful with it. I want to show the due respect for someone else's property. And I will advance slowly during the replacement of these parts and uh, showing the due respect that it does deserve. So we will be proceeding in part two of this video as we start the initial breakdown of the actual watch. I want everybody to pay close attention um, as I will be. I will be, of course, documenting the 32-35 breakdown as this is a VSF, not a VR. So, of course, there's going to be differences to it. Uh, so I will be paying very close attention to those and uh, document it every step of the way I go. Um, I do have photographs, pictures of the full breakdown, taking it apart and putting it back together. That is, of course, of course, this is a 3235, a newer movement uh, not that I don't know as well as I do the 3135. Uh, I know it's going to be very similar. Uh, there shouldn't be too much changes into it. But nonetheless, um, I am going to be very careful as I move along. And of course, I've already broken down quite a few of them. So I don't even think that I don't know 100% what I'm doing when I do. I've taken quite a few 32, 35s apart. But still, um, each one is a little bit different from VR to VS to VSF. Uh, I want to be very cautious with these. I know that these are almost 100% like the actual Rolex movement. Uh, and being as such, I want to show absolute respect to the movement itself. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to go ahead and get ourselves set up as we start breaking this down. Other videos will come to follow as we start this process on this watch today. And uh, hopefully it'll only be three or four videos in from different angles as we move along here people will be able to make their notes so they themselves can do exactly what we're doing here on the bench today. I do want to come back in and I want to zoom in on these on this movement bridge. Look how beautiful that actually is. Absolutely gorgeous. Wowzers. It is just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Man, I tell you what. And so are all these other pieces. Uh, I'm not sure how many people have seen actual Rolex pieces. Look at that. It just blows me away. Look at that. Wow. It's just absolutely perfect. Um, I think I have shown everyone bits and pieces of the 3135 before. Uh, I have quite a few in my collection. I have one box here. Let me show you these. This is going to blow your mind away. Let me come in here and let me show you what's going on with pieces that I am very familiar with. The 3135. Uh, you can take a look. These are just as equal as the 3235. Look how gorgeous they are. I know my camera's not uh, wanting to work all the way, but look how gorgeous these pieces are. 
absolutely stunning absolutely gorgeous uh, let's come in here let's show some more we can take a look at these pieces the reversing wheels for the 31 35 those will be going in uh, here's another piece for the 3135 that I uh, collect. I do use these on my clones and my watches. And, I mean, there really is no comparison. Look, I mean, even in this condition, they are just absolutely gorgeous. You know, unbelievably pretty. I mean, I just, I just can't, I just can't believe how wonderful that these particular pieces are. Now let's take a look at that, come into that. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's so, so pretty. So, so pretty indeed. And these are the original parts that are from Rolex, made by Rolex. You can see the differences in them compared to a clone even on the back these are just gorgeous 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 um so i know there's a lot of people that are putting real parts onto clone movements Yeah, go ahead and put that back up. That will be going into a different build. But we're going to go ahead in this video right here. This is just the introduction. We are going to start working on this movement coming up in part one of the Rolex Submil Submariner clone. Um, I guess we're going to call this an upgrade is what we're going to do as we combine real parts to this watch movement coming up next in our part one of the rolex super clone submariner uh upgrade i guess is what we'll label it so y'all stay tuned you're going to love this uh once i once again i'm going to try different camera angles and take my time with this i want to give you the best possible views and angles of this without my hands being in the way and that is just for prosperity for people down the road that do want to do the exact same thing that i'm fixing to do they will go ahead and have that knowledge of it uh, let me go ahead let me compare one more thing okay so over here vsf this has real parts in it we can see it gliding around Let's compare it to this one. Trying to figure out which one is jerking more on the second hand. I'm studying it. Kind of looks like mine's a little bit more smooth. That's probably because it has actual real parts in it. This one does not yet. But let's see if that second hand will change as we move along. Will that second hand become more smooth? See it jerking just a little bit. That one not so much. Perfect. Okay, so, yep, let's see what happened. Part one of the Super Clone Submariner is coming up. 